Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to move forward. And this is something that I want you to think if you were the Sahaba, we talked about Hamza radiallahu ta'ala anhu a few nights ago. Imagine being wahshi, right? And you cause that grief to the Prophet ﷺ by killing someone so beloved to him, but still you have the motivation to move on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want you to be frozen or paralyzed by your past. So if it's sin or something that you've done bad, you need to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that's most forgiving. If it is pain that you feel over something that indeed happened to you, then it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that compensates for that pain in the hereafter. The compensation awaits around the corner. If it is regret that you did not do something differently, you know, sometimes we think, I could have done this differently and this wouldn't have happened. So we beat ourselves up over, you know, not having done enough for someone or not having intervened at a certain point or not having done this or not having done that. Then know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had a plan for that person as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a plan for you. The point is, is that you're not supposed to be frozen by your past, paralyzed by your past, but instead use it, grow out of it. And think about that which comes afterwards bi idnillahi ta'ala. And remember that when it comes to the future as a person is so afraid, anxious, uncertain about that which comes next, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed is upon all things in control. That everything is going to unfold in the way that is going to unfold, whether you concern yourself with it or not. But by acting in a way that is praiseworthy, bi idnillahi ta'ala, the future will hold a positive fate for you. So alham wal hazan, and this is also when the angels come to us when we are dying. Allah takhafu wa la tahzanu. Do not be uh, do not be afraid. Allah takhafu about the future. When a person is leaving this world, the angels say, Allah takhafu. Don't worry about that which comes next. Wa la tahzanu. And don't grieve over that which you are leaving behind. What's going to happen with their kids? What's going to happen with their spouse? What's going to happen with this person and that person? What's going to happen with all of this? La tahzanu. What's going to happen next? Where am I going? What's the next stage here? At this point, there is no a'mal, there is no actions. La takhafu. Don't be afraid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to take care of you at this point. So my brothers and sisters, anything happens to you or anything that you couldn't achieve or maybe you went through some loss or you lost your job, don't grieve over it. Don't be depressed over it. Tawakkul on Allah. Keep your trust in Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your things easy. And move on. Don't stuck. Don't be freeze, frozen. Don't just become lazy. Don't become lethargic. Don't give up on your life. Keep striving. Keep trying hard. If you fall 100 times, stand up 101 time. And Allah will give you on the 101 time. So keep doing. Keep moving forward. Allah wants you to keep moving. Allah wants you to move on. Allah wants you to become strong. And Allah wants you to keep striving. Allah loves your competitiveness. So always get ready, be energetic, be motivated and keep working until you reach your destination.